Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here. So today I have come up with a very interesting and concept application uh, problem. It's a very standard uh, problem and I have just modified it slightly. And uh, for uh, I'm solving it for general values here. So I'll uh, read the statement of this problem. A solid cone of radius r and a height h is placed on the whole of radius r in a vessel cone has a density of rho s vessel is filled with a liquid of density rho l up to a height of h as shown in the figure neglect atmospheric pressure find the normal force applied on the cone by the vessel if the cone stays in equilibrium and you can use this relation small r is equal to capital r by 2 the radius of this hole is uh, r so let's discuss the concept part of uh, this problem here so concept here is force applied by the liquid above the surface is equal to weight of the weight of the liquid above the surface so here you can see uh, that if liquid is present above the surface then in that case simply this liquid is going to apply uh, a force which is equal to its weight here this much weight of the liquid so directly we can write uh, these kind of uh, relations instead of uh, uh, applying force due to pressure and integrating it similarly here force applied by the liquid below the surface is also equal to the weight of the liquid above the surface now this is slightly uh, difficult to digest but you can uh, see uh, if the surface has negligible thickness then pressure both side is going to be equal and in that situation whatever force is uh, lower half is applying on the on the surface the same force will be applied by the upper surface also so in this situation also even though liquid is present below the surface but actually its value numerical value will be equal to this much weight of the liquid this much weight of the liquid this is the concept here and there is one more similar uh, problem uh, with the name the submerged paraboloid i'll be sharing the link in the description or you can click on the i button also where I have given the derivation part of uh, these two statements. So I'll request students to go through this so that uh, they can have the concept uh, grip. They can understand the concept very well and uh, it will become easier for them to apply in uh, different situations. So now I'll draw the free body diagram of this cone. So the forces which are acting on the cone is due to the liquid which is present on the surface above this. I am calling this force as F1. Similarly on this curved part there is that liquid is applying some force on the cone as well. And there is this normal reaction which is acting perpendicular to the surface of this. And then another force is the weight of the cone. So these are the forces acting and we can balance the forces in vertical direction. So simply I can say this F2, this vertical component I have taken as F2. So and this force is F1 downward, weight mg or W is downward. Uh, the component of normal in upward direction will be added here and uh, the cos theta component will be getting cancelled. So I can uh, say the net force, uh, the net normal that is going to be n sin theta here in vertical direction and this f2 the effect of these forces sim similar logic i'll be using here also that the liquid which uh, is placed here in in this part that is applying a force in upward direction here uh, perpendicular to the surface it's one component will be in upward direction that is f2 i'm calling it so one by one i'm going to find these values and uh, do the calculations for uh, normal and tan theta for this cone i can take it as uh, r by h so now here weight of the cone that is very very simple uh, weight is going to be rho solid into g into volume of the cone so there is the, that is very straightforward i can write now similarly here calculation of f1 i can do and this f1 is nothing but the weight of the liquid above the surface so it is corresponding to this much weight of the liquid so directly here also i can write this is nothing but a cylinder of radius r and height h by 2 by geometry you can uh, see this height is going to be h by 2 this radius is r by 2 and this height is also h by 2 all right so here this volume we know it is a pi r square h by 2 into density of liquid into g that is going to be the value of force f1 
Similarly, I can do the calculation for F2. F2 is corresponding to uh, this force which is acting here and it's a vertical component. So that is going to be nothing but the corresponding to this much volume and it will be in cylindrical form actually. So this much volume I have to find out and then I can say then I can say this uh, volume here and here its weight that will be the value of this F2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate uh, volume of this much part of the cone. First I'll calculate this much part of the cone. I'm calling it as V3. So that is very simple total cone minus uh, this smaller cone. So I'm not explaining the calculations here. So you can uh, see uh, you are going to get this value. It's very simple, very straightforward also. Now I can do the calculation for this uh, V2, this volume, which we have to use this volume. So that is nothing but the volume of this uh, 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 this volume I can take this entire so pi r square h by 2 all right plus this volume of this truncated uh, cone so v3 and i'm going to subtract this inner part from it inner cylinder here so which i have written here so now if i do the calculations i'll be getting the value of v2 you can check the calculations again it's pretty simple straightforward so now i can write this f2 is equal to rho liquid v2 into g now i can use this uh, free body diagram of the cone and when i substitute the values again i have skipped the calculation part if i substitute the values of w f1 f2 and divided by this is going to be sin theta by the way here this is going to be sin theta here so when i simplify i am going to get this answer as n is equal to 8 rho solid minus rho l pi r square hg by 24 this is going to be the answer for this problem i hope uh, the concept and the application part both are clear to you it's a pretty interesting uh, problem and uh, not the easy one most of the students make mistake in it so if you have enjoyed this solution and uh, the ideas uh, give a like share it with others i'll be coming up with a very interesting and uh, amazing problem very soon thank you thank you for watching it